Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Happy Easter to all of you if you are watching this over Easter weekend. My hope is to upload this at some point over Easter weekend because I'm obviously going to be talking about Easter today. And I knew that I wanted to film something related to Easter because I love it as a holiday and I wasn't really sure where to go because there is so much that I could say about Easter and I was like, where do I even start? And I began to think about how my perspective of Easter has changed a lot over the years and I really have always, always loved Easter. And as a little girl, I can remember it was so much fun to go pick out my Easter dress every year and my church always had a cross where we would go and put flowers inside the cross on Easter Sunday. I loved getting together with family and eating all the good food and when we were younger, you know, having Easter egg hunts and the Easter bunny coming. My birthday is also typically around the time of Easter, so I loved getting to celebrate my birthday and just uh, it being warm and springy. And then I can remember, you know, getting to high school, I started loving Lily Pulitzer as a brand and every year I would want to go pick out a new Lily dress to wear for Easter and I began to like just love and look forward to that so much and I don't know about y'all but I have always lived in the south and Easter is a pretty a pretty big deal down here um, it is the week at church where you have got to fight for your spot because uh, normally you can sit in the same exact row every single week and not have an issue and Easter is the week when everyone comes out in droves everyone dresses up in their Easter best you know you gather with friends and family, you have an extravagant brunch and people decorate their homes and do all these crafts and it's just wow. I'm not sure if it is that much of an extravagant um, event in the north but in the south we just love to go all out with everything and I think that we have certainly put a somewhat of a um, consumeristic uh, spin on the holiday and it makes me think of Christmas which is another one of those holidays where obviously we are celebrating something very significant the birth of Jesus Christ the Savior of the world and of course as Americans we have put such a consumeristic um, spin to the holiday and we so often lose sight of the reason for the season or the meaning behind the actual holiday of course none of these celebrations none of these extra things are inherently bad or evil in and of themselves but I was just really reflecting on how much of that I used to look forward to for Easter every year and how my mindset has just shifted in the past few years and I now see so much more beauty in the reason for celebrating Easter and of course I've always known and understood that you know Easter Sunday is the day that Jesus rose from the dead but as I get older and older I just seem to appreciate that more each year and uh, I don't know I think it's easy for all of us to kind of get wrapped up in the extra things if you will and so I just wanted to make this video not to like shame anyone for doing any of that because those are all still fun things to look forward to as well but really just to remind us all that there is so much more beauty and significance in this holiday than we often remember. I even was looking up Easter on YouTube to try to find some sermons to listen to throughout this week and I just typed in Easter thinking I'd be able to find some great options and I was shocked that the vast majority of the results that came up were all relating to Easter baskets, Easter hauls, um, Easter baking ideas, Easter egg hunt ideas no no sermons to be found until I scrolled for quite a while. I found a couple videos on like the history behind Easter and why it's celebrated in the Christian faith but I really had to scroll quite a while to find an actual sermon on it. And then when I began preparing for this video I kind of was overwhelmed because like I said I, I didn't even know where to begin and I imagine that for pastors everywhere this is probably one of the most challenging topics to teach on because I'm not sure how you sum up the pinnacle uh, moment of our faith in one discussion, in one video, one sermon. I, I just know that that's got to be a, a really difficult task for any pastor out there and so really in this video I just kind of pulled together a few of my favorite points that I've read from others or that I have um, 
discovered for myself and I wanted to share those just as a reminder of the real beauty of this holiday and why I think personally it's the most hopeful, glorious, redemptive day all year. Oh, one other thing. I was also reminded that last year I think was a wake-up call for a lot of us when we weren't able to leave our houses. You know, we were in the depths of the pandemic at the time. I have a feeling no one celebrated Easter in person anywhere. Um, and I think that that was probably a reminder to all of us that, oh, even when we step back and we're not able to have the celebrations, when we're not able to go to church and wear our best outfits, there still is so much more to be celebrated behind this holiday. And I think that it was almost probably good for us last year to strip away all of those extra things and just focus on the core of Easter. As a very basic reminder, Easter is not about the Easter Bunny. It is about another animal though. Easter is about the Lamb of Christ that represents the sacrifice that Jesus made on our behalf. When Jesus was crucified on the cross, he was giving up his life for us and serving as our eternal covenant and as our atoning sacrifice for our sins. Last week at church for Palm Sunday, our pastor was talking about um, the cross and in general how so many of us have lost the real appreciation of the significance for the cross and I even say that as I'm wearing a cross necklace right now I, I love wearing this necklace every day but my pastor was just mentioning how um, we have fashioned this item you know we put it on jewelry we put it on clothing we put it on notebooks what, whatever it may be and yet the cross was the most deadly excruciating event in all of history and um, I didn't know this but we actually get the word excruciating from of the cross that's that's where that word came from because um, it was such a painful excruciating experience and so uh, I think it's just important for us to really dwell on the the weight of that and how ultimately even though it was you know one of the darkest days in history when Jesus died on the cross for our sins ultimately three days later he rose again and because of that we have all the hope in the world inside of us as Christians. Romans 5 8 says while we were still sinners Christ died for us and Isaiah 53 5 says by his wounds we are healed and so we know that when Christ was up on that cross he was dying for us before we ever repented. He died for our sins past, present, and future. And even though we turned against him, even though you and I also took part in, in crucifying Christ because we all are naturally rejectors of Christ, even though all of that, Christ still died for us. He still paid the price for all of our sins. He still loves us enough to go on that cross, be separated from God for three days down in hell, and to later resurrect and then invite us into that. I'm saying all of this like so casually I feel like but it's it's actually the most monumental important thing I could possibly be saying right now. So I, I really hope that the weight and significance of this is coming across in the way that that I'm filming this video. I found a great quote from John MacArthur that I wanted to read it says, the truth of the resurrection gives life to every other area of gospel truth. The resurrection is the pivot on which all of Christianity turns, and without which none of the other truths would much matter. Without the resurrection, Christianity would be so much wishful thinking, taking its place alongside all other human philosophy and religious speculations. And I think that he's right. Ultimately, if the resurrection didn't happen, uh, we, we don't have the same hope that we would have today. And I think that Easter is the most hopeful day of the whole year because it reminds us that even when all hope was lost, you know, I try to put myself, side note, try and put myself in the shoes of the disciples who were there with Jesus and who expected Jesus to be the Messiah, be the Savior who came to um, fulfill all of the prophecies there on earth and for them to see Jesus up on the cross thinking he was dead, I cannot imagine the hopelessness and the fear that they felt in those few days. But we know that three days later the story changed and 
obviously Christ rose from the dead and that is where all of our hope should lie because we know that since he rose from the dead he also invites us to one day rise with him as well and that's kind of summed up in a passage in Romans that I wanted to read this is Romans 6 8 through 1 now if we died with Christ we believe that we also will live with him for we know that since Christ was raised from the dead he cannot die again death no longer has mastery over him the death he died he died to sin once for all but the life he lives he lives to God in the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. I read a quote that said, our old history ends with the cross and our new history begins with the resurrection. And I think that's just such a beautiful reminder of who we are without Christ. We, we are dead in our sins. We are lost. And then who we are with Christ, we have hope. We have eternity to look forward to and ultimately we know that Christ did not stay up on that cross because he had to he he could have easily gotten down off of that cross if he had wanted to he he didn't stay up there by the power of the nails or by the power of the people that put him up there he stayed up there because that is how much he loves us he loves us enough to be crucified and die a sinner's death even though he was innocent in every way and then to go three days separated from the father and to later resurrect and invite us into that with him, even though we deserve what he received at first. Even though Christ died, he, he resurrected, and even though one day we will die, we are also invited to resurrect and live an eternal life with him. And Jesus sums that up in a passage in John chapter 11. He says, I'm the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. So to sum up all of the heaviness that I just shared, uh, the, the ultimate purpose of this video is to say that if you have not given your life over to Christ, I would highly, highly recommend you do so. It will be the best decision that you ever make. And by doing that, you will be saying goodbye to your sin. You'll be saying goodbye to your past life. And you will be stepping into something new, something beautiful, something lasting and eternal. And as Christians, we know that we can live differently here on earth because we don't have to be afraid of death. We can, we can look forward to death with hope, knowing that we have more to look forward to beyond that. So much more than we could imagine. Wow, that was a lot to sum up in one video. I know that I was certainly not able to give this topic the full attention and, and justice that it deserves but I hope that I was able to at least shed a little bit of light on the situation because these were just my personal reflections and you guys know that in my videos I just want to share what's on my heart with y'all. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a wonderful Easter weekend that you can celebrate with your family safely of course. I hope that you all have a very happy Easter and I would highly encourage you to take, take some time this week to really dwell on the significance, the importance, the weight, the glory, the redemption, the love, all of it that is wrapped up in the Easter story because it is probably the happiest, most glorious story we could possibly imagine as Christians. So I hope that you'll do that this weekend and really reflect on it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will talk to you soon. Bye!